Hi, welcome back. It's Susan Johnson. And today I want to show you a simple craft that I found online. It was an Earth Day project that I did with uh, my kids and it turned out pretty good. So I wanted to try it with the book cover that I have for my activity book, Animal ABCs, and it's a draw coloring book. So I colored it in with regular crayons, wax crayons, because that was a suggestion in the video. And then I wanna make it a little bit extra fancy by adding like a burst of color. And it should turn out like the other one did, but let's see. All right, and I'm gonna also post a picture um, and information on where I found that video in my comments. So definitely check them out. All right, so regular foil, and I made sure the foil fits over the entire paper. I'm gonna show you. And there it goes. And I have a damp, sponge to wet the paper but I'm gonna wait to do that after I decide what colors I want on my picture so any kind of permanent marker she'll do and you'll notice some colors will show up better than others no problem I did quite a bit of colors because I wanted to make sure that I have a lot of bursts and sometimes I went over and over some like because some of them show up better than others that's a nice blue I'm gonna mix it in with the green and however big you make it wide I mean you will get that kind of burst on your paper so think about that when you're coloring it in Let's see if I get any more out of this green a little bit more I'm trying to think of also matching with the colors that I did already use on my picture so I'm gonna add some orange and you see my sunburst is getting bigger and bigger. It's pretty cool. And you may be thinking, what is she doing? How is this gonna work out? Well, you will see. When I saw it, I didn't quite get it either until I finished and I was like, oh, it does work. And I'm working kind of swiftly because I do not want the permanent marker to dry really hard yet because that is part of the treatment all right adding still some more green making sure I have plenty of that adding it throughout just because I like it you know this is up to you your color choices um let me see I think that looks good Let's see what it's gonna look like. And really, there's no mistakes with this. You're just playing with it. You could, I went back to mine and added more colors I thought I needed. So I have my picture flat. I just put another paper under it because I'm gonna use a wet sponge to kind of dampen it. And I know it's gonna soak through. So I take my burst of marker, put it over, and really press. I press, massage, press, massage, make sure I try to get all the color off. And this is the part where I say you could keep adding because once this is done, if you want to add more, you can keep going or you can leave it the way it is. And it looks kind of like a burst of watercolor, guys. It's so pretty. All right, so I'm going to add, let me see, more to the edge because I think it should be out more. And as I said, you're making this your own, so be creative. Awesome. What was that other color? Was that yellow? Let me add some more yellow. And depending how much water you use also affects how it turns out. Last time when I did it, I didn't use a lot of water, so that's why I used so much this time. But let me go ahead and make this bigger. Massage in more color. And there you have it. A cool water color effect on a regular drawing. And so I'm definitely gonna let this dry and I'll post a picture of the finished product. All right, you guys have a good rest of your afternoon. And I'll say happy crafting. Uh, always try to do things that 
create some positive and valuable family time. All right, take care, bye.